Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, so this is going to be a challenge video which um, basically um, I uh, pick score bunny and it, um, I take it throughout the entire region without evolving it and it, um, there are a couple times where the game forces you to have a second Pokemon on hand so when the game forces me to have a second Pokemon on hand um, I'm just basically going to have to do something with them, so it's either going to be like a status attack, like a Confused Way or Will-O-Wisp, or just using a potion or a X attack or something. Um, because there's nothing really I can do about that, so I'm, it's just like, eh, might as well. Um, but essentially, I went through the entire game with Score Bunny getting the only KO. Um, I think that's how I, best I could put it. Um, so yeah, we've just gone out. Uh, I just got score bunny, and I'm just going to be be speeding through most of these un the unimportant parts where not much is happening. So like 90% of the hop, I think his name is battles. I really can't remember the name of the rival in this generation, so I'm just going to call him Hop, um, because he is essentially how 2.0. Like he has a relative that is uh, in uh, the. Um, that uh, that you uh, fight as a um, challenge because um, Hop has Hop has uh, um, Leon and uh, the How has uh, his grandfather who I can't remember his name and um, that was fighting type um, uh, island Kahuna uh, for the first island. Um, they're both really weak um, and that uh, you know the but and they both get beaten by um, like a pro the, the um, tougher rival in the entire game um, anyway you know we're just going through the main story play just going uh, um, to get our um, brace thing I can't even remember what it's called um, like mega mega ring two three point oh at this point because we had the mega bracelet then we had the Z bracelet and now we have this bracelet and yeah we've gotten we're we're starting to get a really good the jewelry collection um but Dynamax bracelet is called I don't know anyway um so it's pretty but much box standard so I'm just going to talk about how long this took me to do um so this took me uh, this this. Rec uh, the total amount of footage I got for this was 10 hours. I've done some off-screen grinding, um, which didn't take too long. Um, and uh, the, um, there was also an interaction later on in the game that wasn't really important to the plot. And not uh, and there was no battles, and it was just mostly dialogue. Um, so I had my turbo button to help me with this uh, um, endeavor. And it... Um, the, and it um, yeah, Turbo Button plus A just it helps a lot with the cutscenes. Uh, uh, a lot uh, it helps a lot with the dialogue, but something better. Turbo A and the, the A not and if you press um, well it says um, R two R R two and L two on my pro on my SM thirty Pro, um, but I think um, I don't have my. Of the controller here with me. Ah, there is. Um, well, on uh, this controller it says, yeah, it's, it still says uh, ZL. It says ZL. So uh, basically, if you press ZL or ZR without that being turbo, with a turbo A button, it. And I figured this out later on into the series. I was just near the end. So yeah, but that just goes through the um, dialogue. Up. A lot faster because um, I think if you press and hold A, um, it, you know it just the dialogue uh, skips the scrolling and it just gets just all pops up at once. Um, but just mashing A won't do the same thing which the turbo volume would do. So um, pressing and holding the ZL or ZR plus the turbo A means that the ZL or ZR would fill out the dialogue box instantly and then um, the A would uh, skip the dialogue box meaning that the dialogue went a lot faster um, mind you don't uh, quote me on that because I haven't done any tests to make sure I'm right there so I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's how it's worked anyway um, so yeah 
um, Hop really was not at any challenge. Like, I, um, I missed one, I, uh, one of the battles that I did with him, I, it was not recording. And, um, hold on, I gotta do something quickly. Okay, now that's done. Um, so yeah, he was just not really that much of a challenge throughout this entire thing. For the mo most of the battles I did with him, I could just mash A and win. Like, um, that one battle that I didn't record, I wasn't really too bad about not recording it because it was just me pressing A and I think it was the battle just before you got to the water type gym. And uh, I just was not bothered about uh, um, it because it's like, oh, I could go back to my last save and do this all over again. But it was just more, it would just be a uh, waste of a bunch of time that I didn't need to. Um, because it was not an interesting battle at all. He posed no challenge. I just kept on uh, using uh, um, Flame Charger and it, um, or whatever it is, um, and just uh, one shot in him. In his entire team, um, or oh, BD here actually posed uh, a threat um, because if I'm gonna, uh, if I can. Okay, so I've slowed this down to one time just to show you, but uh, to, just so I can talk about this. But um, BD was actually a threat here because I don't know if it was because I was on the level because it, he his Pokemon was like 16 and mine is only 21. But I think I just got a bit unlucky with like confusion. No flame charge. Yeah, I guess I was just a little bit on the level um, to take him on, take him on at a time. Um, so this is actually the first time um, in uh, while recording this that I actually got beaten by somebody, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then uh, you go for a headbutt, but I get. I hear myself in confusion, don't I? Yes, and that knocks me out. Yeah. So, I got, I got a bit unlucky with confusion, and it, um, I was just a little bit t um, too under level uh, um, to uh, take out this team. Like, I, if um, I hadn't hit myself in confusion there, I would have probably won. Um, so, I just went back a bit, uh, tried to get an encounter with that Pokemon, but I, um, I think you needed to do something. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, so I just um, went back through. I think I got like a level or something. Um, yeah, I got one more level or two. I don't know. Um, and I just got better look better with my um, not with not hitting myself in confusion. Um, so yeah, and as you can probably tell, um, there I really didn't have any problems after that until we get to the water type gym. Um, so yeah, just like get it by the wooloo, just go through all of this dialogue, get, get a few items, do a little bit of uh, grinding, um, not really much, just, uh, um, just a little bit, just while I'm getting some items. Um, so I want to emphasize this, um, before recording this, I did not plan anything out, I, did, I, did, I was gonna like, okay, so Score Bunny can learn this move, this move, and this move, and I can get this move from this place. I didn't do any of that, I was like, okay, um, I was just like, I'll just get a Score Bunny, and then see how it goes. Um, uh, also, um, I didn't really pick Score Bunny, I just used, I think, if I remember correctly, I just used a, um, randomizer, because, I was originally going with like was gonna be a bit, bit funny and they'd go with the most meme of the starters, but the most meme of the three starters was um, Sobble, which I had already used in my main playthrough. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to do a solo one with Sobble because um, I had already used it. So I was like, I'll just do a randomized, ran I just um, get a random number generator, generate a random number, and then um, see what we get. Um, yeah, the grass gym wasn't much of a problem. Just uh, bent through it, went to heal, and just, I was like, okay. ah, and this is when I realised that you could not do double battles at all if you only have one Pokemon, um, which uh, um, is a good and a bad thing. Cause it's good because there's some more difficult battles I can just walk right past. Um, 
you know, in the wild, you know, just out of the wild, I would probably... Oh, yeah, and uh, that's about when, um... Well, that's when the recording cut out, and uh, literally all you missed was me finishing that out, and uh, um, spamming a flame charge, or whatever it's called, uh, against uh, ha uh, Hop. Um, now, this gym, for the most part, didn't pose any real trouble, um, but, uh, um, until now. Uh, this is the only uh, trainer um, that um, really uh, bothered me in the entire gym, and I was below half health, so I probably shouldn't have gone into the battle. I used headbutt. Of course, I'm faster, so I have the chance of getting a flinch. It did not flinch. It used water gun, and it finished me off. So yeah, that was a short battle, so I had to go through the entire gym all over again. Fun! Anyway, so... Uh, I didn't really need to train up or anything, it was just me being on low health and they did not... Really just, like, taking an L, so I just, you know, got my revenge on that. Well, and then just beat, beat her. Easy peasy. Uh, well, when you have full health, it's easy. Um, went to the gym battle. Um, I should probably slow this down. So yeah, um, the main problem here with the water type gym is I didn't have anything super effective. I didn't have any X attacks or X speeds or anything, and the um, score bunny is really fragile. So um, I was like, oh, I could, I, and here you can see me just debating whether to try and heal up or not. Um, and I did eventually decide to just like heal up just in case um, they survived. Um, and they have Aqua Jet, which is which puts me in a situation it's like ah. So even if this does one shot, then um, I'm still going to need to heal up next turn. Um, so headbutt, and it doesn't one shot, so I had to heal up. Jet because of course it's just gonna go for Aqua Jet. Um and I needed to go for Headbutt and Aqua Jet. And I was put into a corner at this point because um after that last Aqua Jet, my only option after that um was to Dynamax and to use an attack. Um because if I didn't then um Dreadnought would one shot me with uh, um, after Dynamaxing um, and it, uh, yeah so I, I decided to heal up because I didn't think I could one shot a Dreadnought um, so I healed up put two max and hope that I survive a um, a uh, an attack and if I could I was ba my plan was basically to cheese it a bit and just like heal up um, while her attacks put in to one shot me um, and it, uh, just uh, wait out her Dynamax until I could actually get some healing. Um, the main problem with that is obviously I'm not going to survive a single hit from it. Um, also Max Geyser sets up rain which would boost the damage. So there was no way I was ever going to survive uh, more than one of them. Um, so yeah, obviously I got beaten. So I had to go grind once again. Which, yeah, I was not joy overly joyous about, obviously, so... Um, yeah, I got a few more healing items. I went to here um, and just like did a bit of grinding here. And then I think um, I just... Yeah, no, there's still a little bit of battles there. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, in a minute, it's just going to cut back to the gym. So, um, yeah, I went back to the gym. And it, uh, um, as you can probably tell, because it's, this is sped up and my victory battle pub, uh, won't be sped up, um, that I lost this time. Um, but after this loss... I decided that it was close enough for me to try and cheese out a bit of a victory 
um, with just by some luck and RNG. Um, so uh, I gave it a few goes. Um, so I can't remember exactly what my strategy was here. I think it was probably just get a couple of speed boosts using um, uh, like flame charge. Um, and then Dynamaxing go to you as um, my um, uh, oh, well, I can't remember what the Punch and G Max move is, but um, basically the Gigantic Max Punch and move raises your attack by one stage. So I was going to use that to try and raise my attack, but then I remembered that, that um, X items uh, are basically will raise your stage up by your that. Um, start up by two stages, so I got some X attacks, and um, I couldn't get X speeds at this time. Um, but I decided to try and um, do it with some X attacks um, on um, gold on Goldine, and then getting my speed up by using fl flame charge. Um, and it, it didn't quite work the first couple of times. Uh, the first. Yeah, a couple times it didn't really work, but it did eventually work. Um, so yeah. Um, now here's an interesting fact about the X items. Uh, before Ultra Sun and Moon, I believe it was before Sun and Moon, um, X items would only raise a, a stat by one stage. But in Sun and Moon, uh, they were changed to raise your stat by two stages. And uh, um, in my opinion, this actually makes the X items worth using. Um, because, uh, um, especially in a challenge like this, because Score Bunny doesn't really get a move to raise its attack. Um, at least not that I had, not one I had access to at, the, at this time, or that I really knew about. Um, my god, I might get sort of stuff. I, I'm actually going to look it up um, quickly on my phone. Um, but you know, uh, with a Pokemon that doesn't that needs its stats raising, but you can't really raise it in the main game. Um, you can just use X items to patch up like bad attack or bad defense. Anyway, uh, score, score bunny. Um, so I use so while Score Bunny didn't have bad attack, I used it to buff its attack because um, it just needed a bit more attack. I mean, it, it has a 71 base attack stat, so it's not bad for everyone considered. But uh, you know, playing for a low kick, focus energy, fire blast, substitute, reversal, indoor, sleep, talk, power pass, each wave, and. Uh, yeah, it doesn't get sword stance by the looks of it, by TM and definitely not by level up. Um, gets high jump kick, sand attack, sucker punch and super fang by breeding and fire bledge by shooter. Um, so yeah. Um, with Score Bunny not really having a uh, way to raise its attack stat, I was basically um, forced to use X attacks, um, and Flame Charge was actually was a good way to raise its speed. Um, and the, the, most of the time, I did not find myself getting outsped by anything. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how if that would have changed if I didn't keep Flame Charge, or what. I don't even think I had a good thing to replace it with. Um, because while Score Bunny is a physical attacker, it doesn't really get many physical fire type moves or many too many physical moves. Oh, like and uh, double kick. A uh, little bit of a spoiler here, but double kick was legitimately the best fighting type move, physical fighting type move I could get for Score Bunny this entire game. And um, I do believe my final move set was uh, Flame Charge, Double Kick. Um, uh, something and double edge. What was that third move? Um, oh yeah, U-turn. I do believe I told you it's U-turn later on in the game. Well, right now I think it, instead of U-turn it has 
Bounce. Um, and Bounce did come in useful a couple of times, but um, U Turn was just a bit more reliable than Bounce. Um, mainly because while Bounce does have an 85 uh, power, it, where uh, U Turn only has 70, um, Bounce also has an 85 accuracy, where U Turn has 100% accuracy. And it, um, Bounce is a two turn move, where U turn is a one turn move. Which um, made me just say, yeah, I think uh, U turn is just going to be more useful. Anyway, we get, um, you know, we get invited uh, um, to the gym and there's a dinner for beating the water type gym. And then I get a, bit, a little bit confused and then we fight BD once again. Um, and this time I think I just wiped the floor with him. Yeah, I just looked forward in the recording and yeah, literally just wiped the floor with him. Um, I think it's mainly, I don't know if I did use an next attack, but um, it's also probably due to that. I, I think I did use an next attack, and uh, probably that, and the fact that I uh, got a few more levels, because I needed the levels to beat the war type gym. But, um, yeah, this area wasn't too, um, you know, hard. You know, just uh, kick a few people in the face, uh you know, kill some other stuff with fire. Now, if you can't kick it to death, burn it to death, and you can't burn it or kick it to death, then double edge. Um, and that's pretty much my entire strategy through most of the game until I get U turn, and then U turn was an option for like some dark types. Um, but again, a lot of dark types would just be better. Uh, there was some dark types like Weavile, which were dark ice, and were four times weak to fighting, so uh, double kick was a better option for them rather than U-turn. Um, so I do think by the end of the game, I did have a relatively decent move set, considering I only used a score bunny. Um, uh, but yeah, the main problem was um, that score bunny had the very little staying power, um, which isn't t too surprising because it is obviously a score bunny. And I, I did a bit more grinding, um, and I think I yeah. So oh, oh yeah. So level up. Um, I'll just check quickly what level I am now because it's going way too fast for me. Yeah. So we're now about level thirty-eight. Um, so yeah, more. Um, I can't remember her name, but she wasn't uh, um, too much of an issue. Um, and yeah, the fire gym, um, so basically I knocked out most of them and then I eventually got bored, so I just caught one of them and then put it straight into the box, um, just to, um, you know, make it so that I'm not there forever, just uh, beating on Pokemon. Um, and the fire gym, uh, let me just quickly slow this down. So the fire gym was not too much trouble. While um, most of the Pokemon were either um, completely immune like Ninetales is with Flash Fire or Resisted Fire, which is my only form of stab, um, I did have, again, potions and x and x attacks so, uh, and uh, his, uh, and uh, uh, um, most of his Pokemon's only stabs didn't really hit me. I resisted most of his Pokemon stabs, so... Um, yeah, it was it was fairly even. Um, had to use an X item, basically uh, pummeled the nine tails to death with double kick. Um, and the, the outcome was uh, Arcanine, I believe. Um, yeah, Arcanine. And now let me just talk about Intimidate for a second. Intimidate was so annoying whenever it popped up in this game. And I swear, every mile in this bloody game has Intimidate. Like, I do not think I faced off against one mile that did not have Intimidate. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit annoying to say the least. Um, so, yeah. Um, I uh, G maxed, and um, something uh, um, I would definitely suggest doing while doing these uh, fights is keep an eye on uh, um, how many Pokemon they have left. So if they only have uh, three Pokemon left, then that Dynamaxing uh, would uh, I would always Dynamax. 
because I would that you uh, I would use that chance to get a few uh, attack cups at using uh, the fighting types type move, uh, and then um, by then I would probably already be faster than uh, uh, whatever came out. Um, so uh, getting two or three attack boosts um, was usually enough. Um, but uh, with this Arcanine, it was a bit annoying because it had already lowered my attack. So if it if it didn't have Intimidate, um, it would have taken one less attack to take Arcanine down, which means I would still have my Gigantamax uh, um, for his uh, final Pokémon. But I don't, so I had to do my best. I didn't, so I had to do my best. Oh, and I think I really cheesed this a bit. I, che I did um, have I did cheese this a little bit. So, because I didn't have my Dynamax, and I knew I was most likely faster than him, I decided to go for Bounce. So, yeah, he Dynamaxes, and I, and um, you'll see in a minute that I just go into the air. So, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go up here, and obviously because I'm in the, in the air, he cannot hit me with his attack. Um, so, yeah. Um... That obviously happens, um, but something I was thinking about going through this, and I think I'm just going to talk about this for a second while they, uh, because I'm talking too fast, is Double Kick would be good if a Pokemon with Technician had it. If a Pokemon with Technician had it, then it would just probably break the, break the game. Anyway, so bounce up in the air, come down, and it actually hits, um, one-shotting it. So, yeah, uh, got a bit lucky there. Um, but hey ho, I'm not complaining uh, we take those. Um, so, yeah. That is the fire type, Jim Down. Um, and, yeah, and, um, oh, so a joke I made to myself here is like when, uh, when he said, um, I've got, I've still got a lot to learn. I was like, yeah, like how to walk normally. So he does have a bit of a weird walk. Anyway, why is this in one time? So long. I'll be back in a moment. And I can tell this is going to be an extra long video because we've on I've only just beaten the third gym, and uh, um, I think this video is already up to 50 minutes long, and uh, um, we've still got the rest of the game to go. Um, so yeah, this is going to be an extra long video. Mind you, it took me almost, it took me 10 hours to record all of this. Um, so, so yeah, and because I can't really sit still and do the same thing for a, an extended period of time, this took me almost an entire week to do. Um, so yeah, anyway, so, uh, you know, we meet up with them, blah, 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 plot, plot, plot. Skip all of the dialogue, blah blah blah. Like, it's not like the plot in this game is bad. I mean, oh excuse me, it's not like um, black and white where it where the plot actively infuriated me. Um, just because there's so many goddamn plot plot holes. Anyway, so let me just talk about this area here. This area was one of the most difficult areas I've had. No, this was the most difficult route I've ever had to go through because. In nowhere else in the entire game did I have to go back and forth as much as I did on this one because Dog Trios were annoying because if they didn't have um, Arena Trap, it would still probably manage to outspeed me, so um, I probably wouldn't even be able to escape in the first place. They are ground type and they have ground type moves, which are super effective against me, which would mean that there's a good chance they could just one shot me. So, yeah, this was a frustrating route to get through because I had to dodge all of the Dog Trios. Um, and I think the, I th and I think this route has the only, yeah, this route trainer is the only route trainer in this entire game that I can remember that ever gave me any trouble because of that bleeding pseudo Rudo and its rocks. Um, so I had to go through, um, the entire route again, uh, I, and I got knocked out by another dog trio, and I was like, why are there so many dog trios? Anyway, so I had another go at him. And this time I lost, and I had to try again. 
uh, this time I was just like, okay, just X accuracy every time he loses my accuracy, and it's like I eventually I just had to kill him. But I, I, uh, because thanks to the X attack, I did have enough power to just punch through him. Uh, he used a water type again. Oh wait, yeah, I should probably slow this down uh, quickly. Well, actually, I was going to slow it down, but then I just realised this is the second to last Pokemon. Um, so yeah, he did actually use his water type against me, but I just used double edge, one shotting it. So yeah, it was pretty much just double edge. And Silicobra um, lasted a bit longer because I, um, but I still managed to get through it. And uh, we're in the fighting type gym. I can't really remember anything that gave me too much trouble here um, because um, nothing really resisted flame charge um, and everything resisted double edge. So my nuke was out of the option, um, but I still had bounce. So yeah, I still had bounds, which um, I wasn't too keen on using because it would, uh, again, it's a two-turn move of only an 85% accuracy and it only has 5 PP. So bounce was sort of my last kind of resort kind of thing, just like if there was something that that um, flame charge couldn't really handle, like a fighting water type, I don't know um, if there's any uh, types that could resist flame charger, um, but yeah, um, I was just like, um, I, had, I had bounce just in case, so that, anyway, so I decided because Hitmontop is a bit bad, like it seriously is a kind of a bad po Pokemon, um, I would just try and stay up on it and it knocked me out, so yeah. And I would speed up if I realised that it wasn't the one that I won. I'm gonna double check which ones that, uh, which one I did win, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, this did take me a few tries. Where um, basically my strategy was set up a few X attack, an X attack or two, on um, hit them on the top and uh, try to out heal its damage. Um, and the, the, this honestly was my best chance of basically doing it because hit him on top. Even though it did manage to knock out the score bunny a couple of times, it is not the strongest Pokemon at all. Like, it is really weak. Like honestly, I, I I'm not a competitive battler, but I've always seen hit him on top out the weakest out of the three Hitmons. None, uh, and I don't think the baby one is called Hitmon anything. So yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's called Tyrogue, so yeah, it's not Hitmon. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I've never really used it, but I've always just, it's always just been, I've always just seen it as the weakest of the three. And it, when you compare it to the other two, it definitely does look the weakest. Because uh, you've got one that's really good at punching, uh, um, one that's really good at kicking, one that spins on his head. Like, seriously. It does. It does not really seem like uh, um, the stronger of the three. Anyway, so uh, for some reason, I was not confident in my ability to outspeed hit him on top. Um, so I was just waiting for it to use counter uh, instead of revenge, and I used my X attack. Uh, well, no. I yeah. So no, it was probably just spamming revenge until um, while I was spamming potions, and then. Yeah, I used my X attack and then I uh, used flame charge. Yeah, no, sorry, that's what happened. Uh, one shotting it because it's a bad poop man. Anyway, um, and now out comes Pangoro. Um, and now at this point, um, because she only has three Pokemon left, it was basically over for her because I could just Dynamax um, and spam. A really powerful max airstream that wouldn't miss. Um, so yeah, kind of game over at this point. Um, and uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I actually thought of like bounce use a bounce in this way when I learned it. But it's a good thing I did learn it because I was like, eh, it's better than Ember. Um, better move than Ember, and it gives me a bit more type coverage. And I didn't really think of uh, fighting it, but good thing I did learn it. Um, over Ember, um, because it just wrecked this gym after hitting on top. 
Um, so yeah, it's just at this point it's just a clean sweep. I do remember Sir Fetched gave me a bit of a problem with detect. Yes. Um, yeah. So basically, it reduced its damage just so it could barely survive. Well, not barely survive, but it survived with less than half health. And I was like, "Hi, did you have to do that? I was just it's going so well." Uh, so yeah, I, it wasn't the end. Obviously, it's not the end of the um, world. It's using detect. It just means that I'm not going to be Dynamaxed um, to face off against a gigant maxed uh, Machamp. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit annoyed about that. But I was like, yeah, let's keep going. I'll uh, see if we can beat this because this is the, this is the um, best trade I got. So I use bounce again. So I was just like. It worked last time on the fire type gym leader, so I don't see why it shouldn't work on the fighting type gym leader. Leader. Um, so I'm gonna bounce. Uh, she, she gigantamaxes, and uh, I go for bounce in a minute when it comes up. Here we go. Yeah, bounce. I go up. She attacks, which was which obviously missed, and bounce hit. One shot and go. It's like, yeah. That's twice now I did it legitimately. <laughs> anyway, so uh, score when he tries to evolve. Yeah, I was like, no, you're not evolving. Uh, also, um, future challenges. Um, BD was not a challenge here. I do not believe. Yeah, I think I just. Destroy this team. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did have to reset once. And because I think I got unlucky or something. I don't know. I can't remember why, but I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah on second try, he did it. So I probably just got unlucky the first try. So, future challenges. Something I was thinking about, like maybe Reggie Gigas and Platinum, because if nobody's done that yet, or something like um, uh, getting a, a, a Yampa and taking that through the entire game. Or um, something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was actually kind of fun. Um, I mean, it obviously, he had his hardships, but yeah. Um, that was mildly annoying. Um, so yeah, th this route didn't pose much of a threat. Um, and I was through it in a few seconds. Uh, talked to her, talked to the ball guy, went in there. Talk to more people, talk to more people, battle a few people. I do actually think this gym leader took me a couple of tries to beat. Um, so, yeah. Wait, no, I think it only took me one try to beat, didn't she? I can't remember, I'm tired. Because um, I've been recording this throughout the week and it's pretty much... I'm pretty much record, uh, editing this the day before. Oh, hold on. So yeah, I'm pretty much just editing this the day before it's going up, I do believe. Yes, it is Friday, because um, Friday the 7th, so yeah, this is going up tomorrow. So I need to get this done today. Um, so yeah, um, turns out I did beat her on the first try. Don't know how, well, it's not like she had any Pokemon that could that really threatened me, like most of it, poison. Like she, she did have really good luck with um, poisoning Score Bunny um, with uh, Sludge, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. Oh, let me just double check something quickly. Yeah, this whole back and forth thing with uh, Galarian Weezing went on for a while. Um, yeah, it's like seriously, she had unreasonably look good odds with um, Sludge. Like seriously, I have no idea why she just did. Um, thankfully, I had a couple of full heals on me. 
Um, something I like that uh, that um, isn't new to Sword and Shield. I think this was actually in Sun and Moon and also Sun and Ultra Moon. And I don't know about X and Y or Auras, maybe. I don't remember that far back. But um, when a Pokemon is status with um, with uh, burn, poison, or paralysis, their um, little model moving slows down. So you can actually see it here when I heal. Score bunny starts going a bit faster, which is something, which is a nice little um, thing that I do like. Um, but yeah, this was just slow and annoying. And if she just didn't get as lucky with the poisons as she did, it would have gone a lot faster. I think the poison. I, I, I actually believe I, I healed. She poisoned me, then I healed the poison, and then, I, and then she poisoned me as soon as I healed that poison. My game. Um. So yeah. And the poisons again. Are, are you kidding me, game? So, okay, gonna uh, heal back up. I really don't like having poison on me because. Um, I'm really paranoid as like just surviving an attack on a bit, little bit of HP and then poison taking me down. Like that was my biggest uh, fear. Yeah, look, I healed it, she, and then she instantly poisoned me again on the next turn. Um, and it, uh, um, because I played Sword before, I remember. I remembered at least the answers to most of her questions. Um, so I got most of them right. I think the only one that I got wrong was um, what she had for breakfast and uh, um, I picked curry instead of omelets even though I picked that right the right the first time I picked it wrong this time because I'm a dangus Wangus McDangus the third so yeah um, I eventually was like okay screw it I'm out of full heals I'm just gonna have to attack her um, I'd have to deal with the poison. I think, yeah, I will still poison there. Like, again, I really hate being poisoned because I'm just paranoid. Just like, you know, I have me surviving on the sliver of health and then being taken down by poison, or them su surviving on the sliver of health and then taking me down. Like, those are those were my two biggest paranoids through paranoids through this entire challenge. It's just like. Them, t them surviving on the sliver of health and then one shotting me, or me just surviving on the sliver of health and then, or something, and then be hitting myself in confusion or poison or just some or being paralyzed. And again, intimidate Marwile. Like I said, e I swear every Marwile has intimidate. If a Pokemon can has in have intimidate, I'm pretty sure they probably had intimidate. Like seriously. I, didn't see, I don't remember seeing any Gyaradoses, but I'm pretty sure if there was a Gyarados, it probably had Intimidate. Um, so yeah, and we just go to here at G-Max Pokemon. I love how the gym leaders all have Gigantamax Pokemon and not Dynamax Pokemon, because it makes them uh, uh, power from uh, Spag Spagmuth. Um, Gym leader, but yeah, it makes them feel unique and uh, instead of uh, um, just uh, like the other what all the other traders who only have Dynamax Pokemon. Hmm. I think the only one I didn't have Gigantamax was the first three, actually. Yeah, the I think it was only the first three gyms who didn't have Gigantamax Pokemon and they only had Dynamax. Um, but again, it's pretty much been established that um, gym leaders will change their teams depending on how many um, badges you've got. So, like, um, if you're starting further north, near, um, um, I don't know, the ice gym or whatever, then um, you don't need to go all the way down, all the way. You know, Halfway across the region, region just to be able to get one gym badge and then um, another gym badge and another gym badge just so you can challenge the gym that was in your hometown. 
Um, the only time time where he really had to do that was in Gen 1, and that was only because Giovanni was off running an evil organization. Um, so yeah, beat her with ease, and then she follows, brings me here, she takes him away, those two go investigate the explosion, I battle Hop, completely destroy him, uh, Snorlax, oh my god, Snorlax was just like, out of every per, uh, party member in his uh, team, Snorlax was the one that always gave me the most amount of trouble. Like, no one else in the party gave me any trouble apart from Snorlax. Snorlax always uh, somehow found a way to survive on a bit of HP. Um, so yeah, I just went through just destroying these trainers. Um, destroying the scientist. And just gathering items on the way, seeing what he can and can't learn. Yeah, that's when I replaced Bounce with u turn because I decided u turn would be a bit more useful. Um, and I do believe that uh, that was a good uh, um, thing because that u turn did turn out to be a uh, useful where Bounce wouldn't be later on in the game, especially in the uh, Spike Muff. Um, and, uh, and yeah, mind you, um, I do know Bounce would have been good against Scrafty even because uh, Scrafty is fighting Dark and fighting Resist Bug, so Bug is neutral, meaning Newton is neutral, so I might as well just use Flame Charge. Um, so, because uh, I get the stab and the boost from Charcoal. Um, but yeah, there was a mo it was mostly Dark types that would either die to a double kick or die to a U turn in Spugmuff. Um, Ground type gym. This was the gym I was daunting the most, probably, because it's harder than the, the water type gym, um, and it, uh, it was also um, my SM30 Pro didn't have um, Rumble on, so I had so I I had to basically go off by um, what um, was on the screen, um, and uh, yeah, I did a bit of grinding. Um, off screen and a uh, lot leveling up, and uh, I'm back, uh, baby, with a stronger team, and uh, I managed to beat her. And uh, and uh, yeah, um, so yeah, and the main problem with the ground type is that while it does not resist my fire type stab, a lot of ground types do have very high defense, um, which is. Um, all, all, all of my moves are physical physical attacks, which means that which makes um, this battle a tiny bit harder. Um, or oh, and barbarical was just the biggest pain in my ass. So basically, barbarical could use shell smash, which would mean he he would now out he would then outspeed me and one shot me. Um. So I really could not set up on Barbarical. Um, I eventually, uh, after a couple, af uh, after a couple of good tries, had the idea of uh, setting up on Shuckle. So basically, if you don't know about Shuckle, Shuckle has like the highest defenses of any Pokémon in any game, apart from Deoxys defense. So far, I know. Um, so Shuckle had the highest defenses. But he also has like the lowest attack, the lowest special attack, the lowest HP, and the lowest speed out of almost any Pokemon. Um, well, actually, I don't think his HP is some, one of the lowest, but I do know he has pretty bad HP. I uh, I don't know. I haven't looked at his stats in a while, but um, yeah. So I decided instead of setting up on Barbarical to just knock out Barbarical um, and. Uh, uh, take out Shuckle. Uh, set up on Shuckle, I believe. Oh, and if I didn't have that idea, then I, um, then I used to be stupid. Past Isaac was stupid. Unlike uh, um, present Isaac. <laughs> uh, that's a little bit of a reference to uh, to anybody who might get that. Um, so did I set up on Shuckle? Because that sounds that sounds like the smart thing to do. Actually, it's the smart thing to do. So I probably did. Nah, yeah. By the looks of it, I did. Uh, set up on Shuckle, I used X defense 
um, just to, to try and withstand any hits that I would take. Um, because I knew that um, if I didn't use X Defense, that a strong attack from pretty much any of his Pokemon would probably take me out. And that's probably X Attack. Yes, yeah, so I used X Speed on uh, Barbarical because when it used Shell Smash, I would load it, load, have lowered its defenses, so uh, allowing me to take out Speed and then take it out. And then X Defense to uh, withstand the uh, air motion of attacks. Then two X Attacks to make sure I can one shot everything. Um, and then probably a bit of healing. Or probably just start attacking. Oh no, I committed X. Oh yeah, I used X Speed. So using X Speed to counteract his. Him lowering my speed. And then I attacked. No. More well, like speed, okay. And this was, I think this actually got me plus one speed. He didn't he use stone edge again? Yeah. So then I heal. Apparently. Just in case I got critical hit, which isn't outside the realm of possibility. I feel like whenever I get set up, I always get critical hitted. Um, and something I would like, uh, a change I would actually like um, them to make would be uh, make it so that you can't get a critical hit unless you've boosted your crit hit rate. Like by default, critical hit is like zero percent chance, but. Uh, when you use like focus energy or something, it raises it to what it would normally be if you norm just normally used um, focus energy. Um, anyway, so yeah, at this point, none of his Pokemon could really do anything because I probably, if I didn't one shot them, they wouldn't be able to uh, do enough damage to knock me out. Um, oh, I got a critical hit. Apparently. Might use the dire hit. I think I, the one that gets you uh, more critical hits. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know why I was taking so long. Do you know that table on? I seems like I should have had table on. Also, I don't know. Um, so uh, yeah, this uh, uh, this isn't. You think you got me back in the corner? Well, no, you haven't got me back in the corner. Whatever. He see, he said, and yeah, this gym was not really much of a problem after that. Uh, just Dynamax, he Gigantamax. I used Fighting Kite move his Pokemon out, and I won. Um, so yeah. Also, if you're wondering why um, certain parts I could speed up more. I uh, sped up more, um, it's because I'm doing this whole post um, record, uh, narr narr narration stuff um, and basically if I were to speed up um, the stuff for that, has, that I have already um, narrated about anymore then it would all get desynced and it would just be a massive pain in my bum basically um, so yeah uh, one shot Easy peasy. Uh, but yeah, I definitely say that that was tougher than the water type gym. Um, because. Um, barbarical. Just barbarical. He, um, while the water type gym led off with a not very good Pokemon in Goldeen. He led off with Barbarical, and uh, if you didn't know, Barbarical is a lot better than Goldeen. Also, this is where I forgot where I needed to go, so I had to uh, go back and forth a little bit. Uh, blah, 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 battle, battle, battle. And I don't think I struggled at all on this, and I think I pretty much just kept on using moves. Um, so, oh, yeah, I did uh, try and... I think I set, tried to set, set up on that one, last one a couple of times, and once, and then... He just thunderbolted me a couple of times. I was like, okay, now nah, I'm just gonna um, knock you out. Anyway, so he how Hop was no trouble. Went to heal, stocked up on uh, healing items, 
and then just went off to uh, battle um, Team Yell. And it was pretty easy. Um, now, this route gave me the second most amount of trouble because uh, I can't remember the name of that Pokemon, but that po they, uh, basically encountering one of them was a death sentence in the wild. But um, strangely enough, his Pokemon is lower level than the wild ones uh, of the same species. So, yeah, I'm just going to stop here quickly. Yeah, so I'm going to do this at 1.5 times just because uh, 1 times is a little bit slow, so I think um, all the battles from now on are going to be 1.5 times. Um, so yeah, just... Um, Toxic Croak was never really that much of, uh, that much trouble for me, and I think it used Swagger, which increased my attack. I was like, thanks for the free attack, basically the free attack risk, because... Um, while uh, you do have the chance of getting hit by Confusion, um, there's not really that much uh, chance but I did get tormented so I could only use um I couldn't use the same move twice in a row in a row so yeah um I was just basically had to hope that I didn't to knock myself out and uh, the, this I believe this is when um yeah this is when I used um U turn I believe, yeah. Yeah, I use U10. I think it just one shot. Yeah. So yeah, U10 was a good thing to put on. Um, oh yeah, and I, I didn't mention this, but I called him Wayne, um, as in Wayne Rooney, because that's the only famous football player that I know. Like, I do like to play football, but I don't like to watch football. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I don't really get, get why people like watching football. And we're talking about British football here, not the American um, football, which is rugby for pussies. I just want to mention here quickly that um, there are some a couple of gyms, and um, this one being uh, one of them, where you have to use more than one Pokemon because it's a double battle. The... Uh, the only other gym that does this is the Dragon Type Gym, where you literally have to have a second Pokemon in there, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm, I am use again Intimidate. Um, I am using only Score Body when possible, um, because again, it is impossible to go throughout the entire game with only one Pokemon, technically, because again, you just get stuck there not being able to um, be. You know, not being able uh, to take part in the gym because you need two Pokemon. Um, because there is that double battle. Uh, but yeah, uh, despite that uh, Intimidate not starting uh, uh, this battle off not too well for me, this was no problem. Malamar, four times weak to bug type move, so you can just completely wrecked Malamar. Um, not to say that Malamar isn't a good Pokemon, like, um, I have used Malamar and it is. It is fun to use with superpower. Um, but yeah, um, Obstagoon is no obstacle uh, when you have a fighting type move. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think it's the last. This is yeah. This is the last one. Skunk Tank. Uh, I can't remember what I used on Skunk Tank, but I do know it was not an issue. Um, I will say something here. This is, at this point with um, Pierce, is whatever whatever his name is, um, where he was singing on the stage. That's one of the points where they, where they really could really use with some voice acting, like seriously. Like whenever he sings, they should they should have had um, somebody come in and do a voice for him. Like even if they, even if it meant um, auditioning him for the anime early. Um, or maybe just like get um, get get a famous um, punk rock artist to voice him. Um, that or that would have been cool if they actually got a famous punk rock artist to voice him in the game. It's, and it would only be a few lines because he's not in the game that much. Uh, he doesn't sing that much. Um, so yeah, uh, not much to talk about here. Just uh, went in, had to get had to set, have a second Pokemon on me. 
had to go through the uh, stubble battles. And again, like I said, um, when there is a double battle, I won't be. I'll try and use the second Pokemon as little as possible. Um, but um, you know, there's not really really much I can do to avoid it. So it mostly uh, Liquid just mostly used Willow Wisp and Confused Ray and or an X Attack or a Potion. Um, just trying to ha uh, make it have as little impact on the battle as possible. Um, mind you, it's not my fault they didn't to go straight for knocking it out when they could. Also, I need to stop, 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 stop. Okay, so. Um, this battle took me a good few tries. Um, so you basically ha have uh, um, a lot of just stuff going on here with ground types and sandstorms and rocks. And Score Bunny is very weak to a lot of that. Like, uh, the only thing that he's not weak to in the, on his team is like, any of his Dragon type moves, and he's uh, he mostly just used Rock and Round type moves, and sometimes a Dark type move um, to knock out Wick Liquid. And yeah, it took me a few tries to um, cheese this victory out, but I eventually did manage to do it. Um, so, I still think 1.5 times is still a little bit slow, but, um, don't want it to be too fast. So, obviously, as always, it sends out Flygon and the uh, Gigalith. Um, so, yeah, let's see what I do here. I go for double kick on Gigalith and um, yeah X attack on Wayne um, just so we know he would one shot uh, that Gigalith down goes the Gigalith I don't know why it took me so long to press A but we got distracted because I uh, while making um, this video, a lot of it I was just watch. I, I did have a YouTube video in the background, so if a YouTube video went there, that probably that's probably why it took me a while to press A, just because I was probably on YouTube just like, uh, I'll watch this video. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and this is when I Gigantamax my school bunny. Um, don't know why I already have my X attack up and using Max Knuckle, so I guess I just need a bit more attack. Um, just so I could definitely one shot um, his uh, G Max Pokemon. And the um, Sil Silicobra used Glare on Score Bunny, and I thought to myself, if that paralyzes me, causing me to lose this battle, I am not going to be happy. I would have uh, been the saltiest person on Earth, um, if that happened. Um, so he G-maxes. Um, I'm uh, not doubting I'll be faster. Uh, Silicobra used Protect, which wasn't too much trouble. Uh, he used Max Knuckle, Knuckle, which I wasn't too worried about because obviously it didn't do, do too much damage. I one shot with my Max Knuckle and then it was just Silicobra who needed to be taken care of. Um, so, Silicobra, pure ground type. So, fire type would be neutral, um, bug type and would be neutral, and so would be normal. So, I just decided to make sure he was absolutely dead. Um, he used Earthquake, not enough to one shot. Max Strike, based off double edge, just annihilates him. And that is the battle won. So that is all eight gyms done. Um, but th that still doesn't mean this game is anywhere near over. And now what I think I'm going to do is I'm um, in like the tournament bit where you battle your rivals and then the gym leaders. I think I'm just going to speed through all that because a lot of it's the same and not and that uh, 
Um, this video is already long enough as it needs to be, so I think I'm just going to speed through them because it's just a repeat uh, ba uh, of battles. Um, if you want to see the battles, um, you can slow down the YouTube video. Um, but yeah, we're on Ice Path, and it had a surprising lack of Ice-type Pokemon. Uh, I think only one of the trainers that I battled actually had an Ice-type Pokemon, and two of them ha actually caused me trouble, um, knocking me out and sending me all, all the way back here. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a pain in the bum this route was. Um, but needless to say, I got through the route and without too much trouble. Um, just like smashing uh, um, people's faces in. I needed the, uh, an X attack a, cu a couple of times. Um, so yeah. Uh, not much really going on. So yeah, like I said, we're just going to speed through these battles because they are just repeat battles of just um, people we've already fought and they're not too interesting. Again, if you want to see them, uh, you can go into the settings and slow the video right down so you can see a bit better. But we're just going to speed through these because this video is already long enough. Um, and it, uh, yeah, I don't want this video to be too much longer. So just going to speed through all of these battles. None of them really posed much danger. For how I decided to be a bit of an asshole and give a score bunny eight rare candies. Just because uh, just because I wanted to, just so I could be a massive a-hole to him. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna before I battle him I'm just gonna feed my score bunny eight rare candies. And also score bunny had basically just leveled up and got very little XP from the last battle, so yeah. Um so yeah, it was basically just um, uh, very optimal to give Score Bunny the rare candy then anyway. And um, this battle, I'm not really going to show it with the, with the guy with the sunglasses because um, it was mostly just mostly just spam um, flame charge until I win. So yeah, and we're just gonna again because the video is already long enough, we're just gonna skip through these grunt battles. Um, and uh, I'll show, I'll actually show uh, battles with like actual characters that um, that ha that make more than one appearance, pretty much. But um, f just for these measly little ones, I'm just gonna skip all the way through them because there's really not that much to talk about because none none of them really pose that much of. So we get to an actual battle with an actual ca uh, character. Um, so yeah, I can't, not that I can remember her name, but Frost Slash, one of my favourite ice types and one of my favourite, uh, not top, top 10, but I, maybe, maybe top 10, uh, but I do love Frost Slash, it, is, it, it does have a nice design. Bit of a pain in the bum to get though. Um, so yeah, uh, Frost Slash is down, Milo Tick, now, Milo Tick, I was like, okay, we need Milo Tick to die right now, um, because Milo Tick is bulky uh, and has decent special attack, so um, I just needed Milo Tick to die. And it's, it's like, yeah, you, you just need to die. Please die. So, yeah. Uh, G Max, uh, based off uh, Double Edge, yeah, just one shot it. Um, I think. Oh no, um, it activated competitive, so yeah, it survived one turn, but thankfully she was stupid. Look, it barely survived that, um, so, but thankfully she was stupid, used Dr. Ring. I decided that, that um, it's low enough HP, so um, a max uh, punch will uh, finish it off. And it'll get me an attack boost. And then I decided to use it again against Salazzle, thinking it would one-shot Salazzle. But no, apparently Salazzle is bulky enough to survive that, which confuses me to say the least. Anyway, so I basically now have plus two attack. So it doesn't really matter in the end. Um, just takes Lazzle out with uh, one double kick. Um, and yeah, just fire charge, flame charge, and then goes speed is that. That's literally the beginning and the end of your story. Uh, there. Um, so yeah. 
And she brings in her G Max Garbodor and uh, I was like, eh, stab, charcoal boosted. No, so we should still do enough damage to one shot because I have plus two attack. Uh, so I go for flame charge, hoping it'll one shot. And it does not one shot. I had to use double kick that I might have one shot and then I was scared when he used max kick and I was like oh no and he just barely doesn't one shot me so flame charge takes it out and I'm I breathe a sigh of relief and plot stuff plot 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 anyway we just go in here uh, yeah BD crashes the party um we uh, intimidate Marwile because every bloody Marwile has intimidate, i.e. just boot, boost up and then just spam attacks and win. Water Girl again. Um, Galissapod, one flame charge uh, puts it into emergency exit. Uh, but yeah, I eventually managed to get rid of it. Uh, Pelipper, I just wanted Pelipper to die. And I did not have enough damage to take out her G-Max uh, Dreadnought in one uh, shot. So, I had the idea of using uh, uh, X-Attack on the Lizard because I knew it would probably use Sword Stance and I'd still be faster than it, one shot it and then basically just tear through the rest of her team. Uh, fighting Girl. I didn't have uh, my Bounce uh, Attack, but I did have uh, Flame Charge and... Uh, um, persistence to just like take out her entire team. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did. I just took out her entire team. Uh, blah 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 blah. And now we're back to this asshole again. Uh, th he was a lot easier this time because he sent out Torkoal, so that gave me a really good opportunity to just set up on Torkoal. Um, and it, uh, then I just tear through the rest of his team, but I didn't. T just didn't have enough uh, attack to finish off his G-Max Pokemon, so I had to get a few more stats up. Um, so I just used a few more X items. Uh, tear through the rest of his team. And um, I think um, our Turtonator actually used a protecting move, so it took two shots to uh, finish him off, but I still managed to one-shot his final Pokemon. Oh, shit! Uh, oh uh, yeah, so we're going to need to stop in a minute because there's going to be plot details. Uh, blah 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 blah. Just go through this area. And we're here. Yamper does that. Okay, so. The battle with Ross, or Rose, or I don't know how you pre I, pre I, pre I presume it's Ross, because Rose is a girl's name, but anyway. Um, as soon as he said out S. Cavalier, I was like, Ah, oh, I can set up on you, because you both... I resist both of your stabs, so I can just... I pretty much can do whatever I want. Use a flame charge, I, have no I now have like times to attack. So I'm just going to destroy your entire team at this point, because all of his team are steel types. All of them. And it's just like, yeah, you really have no uh, uh, opportunity here. Like, you are just dead. Um, but something I want to mention here is, uh, quickly, is I like how um, before he battles, he looks down at his Pokeball and it, it, there's like kind of like a bit of hesitation there because he doesn't uh, really, you know, he still sees you as a kid, so he doesn't, he's just like, do I, re am I really about to just like, uh, do this to a kid, or, uh, he's, I, th I think that's what they were going for, like, he shows a bit of hesitation there, which I think was cool, um, and if they do do Gen 4 remakes, I'll, I'll love to just, like, see how little remorse, um, Cyrus will have when he's battling you, or, or Angle, just like, or oh, I'd love to see what they could do with Cyrus in uh, Gen 4 remakes, um, but yeah, anyway, um, you know, you just, we just go through the battle, it's just a simple, just complete and utter demolishment 
after getting um, times to attack and times to speed because there's nothing he has could outspeed me and everything died in one hit so yeah no problem at all um yeah just dead just complete and utter carnage blah 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 more plot stuff and then this uh, um I forgot his name Eternatus yes Eternatus um basically just knock Eternatus out then it pops up here and I'm just gonna skip through all this because this battle really is not that interesting because I, I really didn't do that much because even with an X attack I couldn't really do that much damage to Eternatus. So it was pretty much just waiting for Zacian and Zamazenta to knock out Eternatus because Eternatus didn't even go for Scorbun, he mostly just went for Dub Wool. Um, and then I just picked a Luxury Ball, caught it in the Luxury Ball because you couldn't not catch it. And then that's the end of that. So yeah, I deposited Eternatus and then made my way to the stage. I also stocked up on a few healing items and uh, got a couple of TMs and see if Squirrel Bunny could learn any of them. Couldn't. Which was immorally annoying because one of them was Giga Impact and if you could have learned Giga Impact that would have been so much more of a better nuke than Double Edge. But no, doesn't get Giga Impact unfortunately. Anyway, so here I just, I was like, you know what, it's the end of the game. Let's have a bit of fun here. So I wanted to go maximum cheese with this. Um, so I uh, used X attack because uh, I presumed it would be going for King Shield, which it did. So then I decided X defense because most Aegis Slashes are physical attackers. Turns out this is a mixed attacker with Shadow Ball and Sacred Sword. King Shield and I don't know what the last move was. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to need to heal up. I, I got a bunch of full restores, so I could just uh, spend with full restores. In the Weird of Lance from Golder, you don't uh, get to be champion without knowing how to spam full restores. <laughs> oh, I love Golder. Omega Rubia was good as well, but... You can definitely tell that they weren't as uh, weren't having as much fun with making a Mega Rubia as they did with Golder. Anyway, um, so he spammed Shadow Ball, and I and that was a heal. So I go back to max health. Shadow Ball, need to more another full restore. Shadow Ball, another full restore. Um, so this just went. This was just a bit of back and forth for a little while. So then he used Sacred Sword, which I was like, okay, I'm going to Flame Charge now. And I did. And it did. And it, um, I got a speed up. And it, uh, then he sends out Haxorus. And it, uh, I uh, thought to myself, there's no way he's not going to get physical Haxorus. So I decided uh, um, to just take it out because it knows Earthquake. I didn't know that at the time, but it does know it. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm going to need to heal up. Anyway, so, I heal up my Pokemon. And then the Earthquake again. And because of that X defense, it does not do work more than half. And to be honest, that X defense at the beginning of the game really saved my uh, bacon here. Um, I use another X defense, he uses Earthquake. And now here I was really scared about getting critical hitted. Um, so I was a little bit too loose with the full restores. Um, because I was just constantly paranoid of being critical hitted. Um, but yeah. Uh, X defense again. And then he attacks me, and I think I've used a full restore. Yeah, he did attack me. Did I use a full restore out of paranoia? No, I used X special defense. Oh, okay. 
Just in case he decides to send out a special attacker to try and take me out. Here I definitely used a, a full restore. There's no way I wouldn't use a full restore. Yes, I used a full restore. Anyway, I wasn't as paranoid as I thought, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna make it so that nothing you can do can beat me outside of a critical hit. And another spe like special defense. And being as I had already used my last um, uh, X attack, I couldn't trace my attack anymore. So it's like, just in case they survive an attack, um, I'm gonna have and have like plus six in defense and special defense, so they're not gonna be able to take me out. And then I fully restored. And an earthquake. And then I use a dire hit. Yeah. And this dire hit did actually come in handy, uh, believe it or not. Because I do believe I actually got two critical hits in the entire map. Uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Oh, no, I did an X speed. Just for fun, I guess. And then he used Outrage, which I was like. Oh yeah, I do use a full restore here, I think. Yes, yeah, so a full restore. He uses another outrage and then I KO him. Yeah. Anyway. So, Haxorus is down, and I'm pretty much immortal at this point. Um, oh no, ha I, didn't, I didn't take Haxorus down, just <laughs> he hit himself and completely, you know. That was funny. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I was like double edge. Just kill it quickly. So, we did. And that, yeah, that was a critical hit, and, and uh, yeah, she has dialogue for when you get a critical hit. And out comes uh, Dragapult. Now it's just like, he resists fire, immune to fighting, immune to normal, so I'm just going to use my fire type move. Get up to the uh, D-Max fire type move, um, which is scorching or something, anyway. Uh, that would set up the sun, meaning that even if it didn't KO, it would be left on really low health, so whatever I did next would probably knock it out. Uh, max Flare, yeah. So I used Max Flare, it did knock him out, and it also set up sun, so it's like, okay, so um, my fire type attacks are going to be boosted in the sun, but that's not going to be overly helpful because he has a Charizard, which uh, resists my fire type attacks. Uh, but yeah, he sends out Mr. Rhyme and it's like, yeah, you're just dead. Right. Sun. Stab fire. Dead. Nice dead. And now this is where he brings in his Charizard. G-Max Charizard. Um, now, I was just like, I'm just going to nuke him. Because he resisted every other one of my moves. So this is like, nuke him. Just Blow him up, make sure, like, make sure he just, that there's no possible way of him surviving. So, yeah. I, put, I did that hoping that this would one shot because I didn't know how much damage it could probably do to me and I doubt it would be enough to one shot, but as I just kill him and it just one shot him and I love it whenever it's just like, uh, you just one shot a D Max or a Dynamax Pokemon. It's just so funny. Because it's just like, oh, I'm big, I'm powerful. And it's like, oh, now you're knocked out instantly. Yep. I mean, even when I was just playing through the game normally, I think there was a couple of times where I almost one shot um, a G Max or a Dynamax Pokemon. Um, so, yeah. That was Pokemon Sword with only. Score Bunny. Now, I want to talk about something here quickly. Um, uh, in a minute. 
and that is, are, are Pokemon games easier than, uh, are the newer Pokemon games easier than the older Pokemon games? And I would say no. All of the Pokemon games aren't really that difficult. It's kind of like the Mario games. You could argue that um, Mario um, Galaxy is harder than Sunshine or whatever, but it's more of like an individual's experience with the game and the levels and all that. And it's sort of the same with Pokemon. Like, uh, you may think that Generation 1 is the hardest because you started playing Pokemon then and back then the most uh, uh, the biggest amount of um, the largest like um, you know strategy you used was probably spam hyper beam um, all the time or you just whatever or whatever your most powerful move was at the time um, and it, uh, yeah and if that is your strategy then of course you're probably that is, if that's going to be like the most complex strategy you've got, then any Pokemon game is going to be difficult for you. Um, but the AI was a bit dippy in Generation One, where they would, if they had a move that was super effective against you, they would always use it, even if it wasn't an attacking move. So Lance's Dragonite had agility. So if you sent out anything that was weak to a psychic type move, it would just they would just use agility again and again and again because that's what the AI told them to do um, and at uh, the end of the day I even did an entire series where I, where, um, I went back to generation 1 and I beat it quite easily within 25 episodes I believe it was um, in under 25 episodes uh, which were all about half hour long so yeah while that probably took me longer than um, this did, um, it doesn't, I still didn't have that much struggle, hard time with it because, um, you know, I applied a lot of strategy, I was like, okay, I know I can get a Doug Trio from Diglett's Cave, and I know I can get one that's higher level than in my entire team if I use a Repel, um, with my strongest Pokemon in the front, so that's what I did, and that Doug Trio was valuable for the entire game because not only was it good against Lieutenant Sage, um, it was also good against Blaine and the Koga. Um, so that Doug Trio gave me a strong advantage against three of the eight gyms. Um, I also used up uh, I also picked Bulbasaur which gave me an advantage against uh, uh, Brock and Misty. That's so right off the bat, um, that's five gyms that basically posed no threat to me because I had two Pokemon that counted them. Um, so yeah, if you strategize properly, you can just counter an entire gym. Uh, when I played through White 2, I used Zorak, and something uh, that I did is I had Zorak in the front, and I had, uh, and I was going up against the psychic type gym leader and I had my Lucario at the back so my Zorak appeared as my Lucario and the, the uh, psychic type gym leader in generation 5 kept on using psychic on my Zorak and it was immune because Zorak is a dark type move but it is a dark type Pokemon but because it was disguised as uh, Lucario a steel fighting type which would be weak to psychic it, even though it said it was immune she just kept on using uh, psychic type moves again and again and again and I basically got set up and swept through her entirely and I basically did the same thing again with one of the other gym leaders and so I'm running I've talked all the way through the credits so basically no Pokemon games haven't been getting easier you've just been getting better and using better strategies and uh, if this video hits, hits 100 likes I'll do the post game because that, uh, I guess that's what people do I guess that's what people do with like these kind of uh, um challenge videos so you know if uh, you hit a certain like goal I'll do the post uh, post game like I know Mayro's done that I think was it Mayro? I know uh, Nick Bear, I know like a couple of challenge videos that I've seen as like uh, if you hit a hit a like goal I'll do the post game but yeah 100 likes I'll uh, do the post game because one I'm only used and it's only 100 likes because one I'm a small channel and uh, um, getting 100 views pit views alone would actually be a big thing for me um, that would easily make it into like one of my most watched videos and um, so yeah
just uh, I don't know if it, hundred likes. I'll do the post game. I doubt. Also, I doubt I'll get hundred likes. But hey, yeah, my nice to say, like all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.